today we have Alon with us. Uh, so he's a computer engineer and uh, he, like a software engineer. And <laughs> so, <laughs> so he missed the part building the computer. So if you watched the video before, uh, this is the computer that we built with the graphics card in it. So in this video, video we want to talk about installing Ubuntu as operating system and then installing all the dependencies mm -hmm. uh, that the system would need. Um, have you ever built a computer before? Never. No, but uh, you used uh, Linux before. Yes, absolutely. I assume, right? So in general, Linux uh, is uh, better if you want to do uh, things like AI research. Um, it's just uh, it has more built-in tools and in general has just better capabilities. So this is what we're going to do. So uh, we have Ubuntu on this uh, USB drive. So it's going to be it should be pretty easy to install. And uh, you know if you see anything that like might be of interest for people, just let us know and then we can talk about it. Let's do it. Okay, so let's do it. So uh, the the very first simple step is so this computer is turned off right now. And there's nothing installed on it, right? This is right after we created this other video. So I can just plug the USB stick in. So then, oops, uh, okay, so now we start the computer. So it uh, goes off. And uh, so now we should actually go into the BIOS and it should mm -hmm. offer us a selection of uh, what we want to do. So here we have uh, a couple of options. And they only show up once we have the USB drive in here, right? Hey Alex, I have a question. Sure. What happens if I have another um, operating system on my computer and I would like to install Ubuntu on it? Right, so um, in general that's uh, possible. You can build uh, separate partitions. Um, I would not necessarily recommend it. Like if you, you know, ideally you have a separated one. But uh, so in, in this tutorial, we'll only discuss a fresh install. But um, so these installations should allow you to build a separate partition mm -hmm. next to your existing operating system. So if you have Windows, okay. uh, you will be able to install Ubuntu okay. next to it. But uh, there can be issues, uh, you know, partitions can be broken. And yeah. uh, so I had this at home. A couple of weeks ago, and I tried to do this parallel install, and it didn't work. So we are doing so, today a fresh install. Yeah. So today we're doing a fresh install. So, so as I was saying before, we have these four options. So these should be pretty well visible now in the, in the zoom in. So we want to do this install Ubuntu, but you can also just load Ubuntu from the USB stick and use it right away without installing. But uh, we go with this option, right? So once we selected this. You can just hit enter. Okay, so here we go. We have the loading screen. That looks good. Okay, so this is the first screen that you will see once you selected installing Ubuntu. So here you can uh, you know, select your preferred language. So we keep uh, English. And uh, so we can just keep these uh, as they are. Uh, so we want to do just a normal installation, and uh, so you can, you know, download updates uh, right at the installation. I think this is uh, generally a good idea. So I would just like keep these uh, general settings. What's the minimum installation? Um, so, so it it says the normal installation does come with like some uh, additional stuff like office software, games, media players. Um, while the minimal installation is really basic. Does things. it come with Office or OpenOffice? Right, so Ubuntu, since it's uh, Linux, doesn't have Microsoft Office, yeah. right? so this is like an OpenOffice uh, okay. variation. And uh, I'm not sure which version this exactly is, but it's good enough to write you know, letters, and uh, there's like something like Excel in there, if, if you're using this. So we just do the normal installation, and then we go with uh, download updates for installing Ubuntu. Uh, this computer is plugged into a network, which will make it easy if you use a wireless uh, connection, and you have to configure that. Mm -hmm. So.
so once we selected this, we come to the next step, which is formatting the hard drive. So here we erase the existing hard drive, and since it's a new hard drive, there's nothing we really lose, right? So uh, we just go with that. If you have already an installation in there, uh, you have to be careful. You have to have like a free partition and then only install it on that free partition, right? So if you reuse an existing computer, you can lose data at this step, right? So this is something to keep in mind. So we select the erase disk and install Ubuntu. And uh, as we said, this will delete everything that's on the hard drive already. Right? But we have a factory fresh hard drive, so we should be fine. So here we just stay with the basics, I would say. Right? Time zone, we are in New York City, so we keep uh, New York, but you know, select the time zone you want name uh, the username which is the Maya lab in this case so we continue so this step is pretty much automated so now the files will just uh, slowly get copied onto the hard drive and it doesn't take too long I think in total it's only four gigabytes yeah so it's uh, downloading now as you said like Windows takes a lot longer I don't know maybe Windows 10 nowadays is better mm -hmm. but uh, so here we actually already nearly done and it took maybe five minutes so I'm yeah because that's yeah and uh, so it's offering also uh, so another thing as we see here is uh, kind of like an app store, so you can install like existing pre-party, mm -hmm. like third-party software. Slack. Exactly. So it's it's pretty user-friendly as an operating <coughs> system to begin with. So if you if you haven't used Linux, then this is a pretty good uh, pretty good start, I would say. And so here we can actually move the camera in, so you can see the computer working. So we have a a small like window so we can see our graphics card is like right here and this is the one that we actually want to use so the the next step like once uh, once this is installed is installing all the all the dependencies that we want uh, to run tensorflow applications mm -hmm. and uh, so there's a really nice company it's called uh, lambda labs and they sell hardware so it's a hardware okay. company and they sell very powerful um, machines to train neural networks. And uh, since we build our own computer, it's a bit cheaper than what they have to offer, but they have this free uh, stack of software that you can download and install everything in like a couple of lines of code. Okay. So this is, uh, this is what makes this installation very easy. So the okay. operating system is already easy. But actually installing all these dependencies in TensorFlow is extremely tedious. So uh, I will put the link down in the description. Now the installation is complete, right? So we can uh, go to the next step. So yeah, if you want to just go and then we restart the computer. Um, we probably want to remove the existing USB stick from the computer. So if you can take that out. So now we have our initial uh, startup of Ubuntu. So now it will probably... Uh, ask us if we want to install updates and that kind of stuff. So this is uh, something, you know, you get when you start up for the first time. I see uh, we have will... the Amazon up. Hmm? I, I see we have the Amazon up. Oh yeah, so you can remove that if you want. <laughs> but uh, I guess Ubuntu has to earn some money, so this yeah. is how they do it. So it's not like, it's a kind of like, a, I don't know if it's for profit, do you know? I think it is a for profit enterprise, right? But all of this is uh, free to use, but uh, they make some money on the side. So now we can uh, basically do all these live patching things. So we like skip this. Uh, if we don't send them info, or we send them info, you can do whatever you want here. So uh, we have uh, Firefox pre-installed. Uh, we can see this uh, here on, on, uh, on the top. So I can uh, select this. 
If you search for Lambda Labs in Google, the first one that you find uh, should be the correct one. So you can see this is for deep learning machines. Uh, so this is it. And you know, as we said before, you can buy ready-made machines uh, from them, but they're quite pricey, mm -hmm. uh, very powerful. Um, so what we want is, we want to find their software stack, which is under resources, and then under the Lambda stack. Right, so that's uh, a little bit hidden, but resources, Lambda stack. And uh, the first thing we see is the Ubuntu 18.04 installation. Uh, so these are the things that we have to to run. So we can just copy this. And uh, now we have to open a terminal. So I clicked on these, uh, on these dots on the bottom. And then we can search for the terminal. Mm -hmm. right? And this is, the, this is the command line from Ubuntu. Right? And this is what we're going to use a lot. So I'm going to pin it directly to the to the hot launch uh, field. So if I if I move over here, I should be able to just right click it, and then I can just uh, add it to favorites. So now we'll always be here. So if I use it, I can just click on this, and then reuse it. Right. So now I just uh, paste whatever we copied from the from the browser in here. Yeah, you do the right click. Yes, right click, and then uh, paste. Uh, so I need a password, right? Let's see if that's right. Okay, there we go. It's the same password you use to log in. Right, so this is the password we set up during the installation, right? And this is something you would re reuse over and over again. Um, but here we go. So now it's installing. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a huge shortcut, right? So if you try to install this uh, software stack manually, it will take hours, right? And this will just work. Yeah, so we are back. So I lied when I said it was all automatic. I guess we <laughs> have to uh, agree on some things. So uh, so here we have a license agreement um, about uh, using the... Wait, how, the how do you scroll down? So I'm using the... I'm just using the, arrow. the... I'm just using the arrow keys okay. right now. Yeah. Using the down um, arrow, key. and I assume if I press enter, I yeah. accept uh, the terms. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do this. No, it didn't work. So press tab, then we select then. Okay. okay, and then we go. So we want to accept. So here I use the arrow key to select accept, and then I press enter, and I think now we should be okay. So the download is completed. So now we can uh, run like a simple command to test if the GPU is recognized. Mm -hmm. um, so to do that, we can go into Python. So we installed everything now, and uh, we needed a restart in order for the GPU to show up. So this is probably necessary to get all the necessary drivers uh, correctly running. Mm -hmm. uh, but now that we restarted the system, we can open a terminal. And we can, uh, you know, check if we can find the uh, the GPU. So here I just uh, searched Python. Uh, so in Python three. So now I'm uh, installing the, the dependencies. So if I run this command, I should see all the GPUs, all the CPUs in the system. And uh, this is what we get. So if we look closely, we have our GeForce GTX 1080 correctly detected. Mm -hmm. So now if we run uh, TensorFlow applications, we can finally use the uh, GPU. Yeah. And so this should result in a speed up of uh, you know, 10, 20 times over CPU. OK, so that's it. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, pretty fairly easy, I would say, except for the scare of the restart where we couldn't detect the GPU right away. Yeah. But uh, other than that, it's pretty seamless.
So it's it's pretty much a two-step process. So first, you have to get Ubuntu on a USB stick, and there's a video that we shot for this. Um, okay. So you can find this uh, in the same channel. Mm -hmm. And then installing this whole thing probably took half an hour yeah. at most with uh, the loading time and the restarts. And then you're ready to go and you can uh, you know, do your research. So I hope this computer is useful to you yeah. and like for us in general. So thank you very much, that. Alex. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. What is uh, <laughs> the next movie you're planning? Uh, the next movie, I don't know, probably a makeup tutorial. We haven't decided yet. Yeah, so yeah. stay tuned with us. <laughs> yeah, stay <laughs> tuned. All right, bye. Bye bye. Use this like, like that. <laughs> Alex. We're here with Alex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>